Hello. I have tucked my collar um, around the neck line so you can see now. Can you see that? So that's still still open. Um, so I tucked it in next to the facing and continue tucking at the back. So that is quite important you do. So continue um, tucking at the back so that is not get undone. So you remember your seam allowance here being snipped and you release it so you don't fold the seam allowance around the back. So you tuck that, you do exactly the same, see that, it's nice, exactly the same at the another side of your collar, continue, another side of your collar, fold your nose, I'll just show you what it looks inside, just simply fold it and that's how it look that side. So it's very, very important you do that. So next um, stage would be is attaching these two together facing and your collar, and also finishing the top of your collar um, permanently. So for this one, I will, I'm, I'm going to use a, a red thread so you can see the stitchings itself. Um, so secure your stitching. Again, um, it's, so it's, I usually start from the center back. So I'm going to show you, it's the same manner how we did, so it's over stitch where we attached your um, collar to your neckline. Um, so start from the center back, so secure your stitching. So you're only picking up one, only picking up the top fabric of your top collar from that side. So it's over stitching and then you just continue doing that. So it's just over stitching, it's nice and small. Obviously, your thread is going to be um, identical to your top fabric, so you would not see them. And um, a minute. So my thread is not being properly stitched. I'll just show you again. You get a little knot here. Um, just go secure and just go through that. There we go. You just do them as small as you can and um, do them very close. But again, it has to be consistent. So can you see that? Just goes over my, so I go over my under collar and attaching to the um, top collar, but only picking up one layer so it doesn't go through at all. So like that. Can you see that? And just continue doing all your color. So continue doing that side and continue doing another side. Yeah, can you understand this teaching? Okay, so just go over, very simple. But the beauty of this teaching is being consistent. Single thread. So now the next um, one is, I would like to show you. Uh, it's between, in, in the between two. Um, again, I usually start from that age here, because by that time, uh, I will perfect my stitching as well. So you get used to, to the stitching. So start in inside. And what you usually do again, I go through one side. So it's age, one edge to, to another age. So you kind of like stitching age to age. So if you see it there, so go one side on the edge, on the fold of your facing and to on the fold of your top collar, just make sure it's small stitchings, and then you pull together. So you go that side on the edge. Yeah. And then go to this side, just on exactly on the fold. And then when you have your Two threads, see that's in the between. You see that? So in the between, so just pull it and it pulls together. As tight as possible. We don't want to see any threads at all. Okay? So that's very important. Okay, so just continue doing it. So I'm going to do slightly bigger stitching so you can see the method. So it goes through that side that side, then go to that side, 
all, yeah, age to age. Okay, can you see that? So now, yeah, both on both on or each side of the fold, and then you just pull it together. Okay, so that's in the in some way you kind of like machining, but by hand. So they have to be the stitches have to be very small, very tiny. So my one obviously quite big, so you can see it, but it needs to be very very tiny. Using single thread, and the thread color it should be the same color as your top fabric. So it's very important. As close you go, as close as you can have. So I'm just going to continue doing it together. See one side, then it's another side like that, and just tiny stitchings. And you go them and you pull the fabric in the between like that. So when is that done? So you will end it up with nice seam. So the more regular your stitchings, the more nice and smooth the seam is. So I advise you start from the back and then and then work towards the front. So by the time you finish the front, you will get into the habit of regularity of the stitchings. Okay, so can you see my seam here? is actually quite nice and straight, isn't it? So that's what's important. And also, so it's don't have any gaps. So if I pull it, you don't have any gaps in the between. So it's very important you don't have a gaps. And so this that means the stitchings have to be very close to which as close as possible. Take your time, okay? And make it that as perfect as possible. It will be stronger, but also will look really nice and neat. Okay, if you need more demonstration on that, um, matter so I will happy to do another demonstration but otherwise good luck I'm going to finish my one as well and I will show you the final result bye